I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes, but I'm here with friends in Asia somewhere, and there's this dog behind me, and, and everything's under control. You know, it's, it's it's the neighbor's dog. But this happens sometimes in Asia. They they just kind of have like maybe you could say even negative knowledge of uh, stuff that Caesar, the dog whisperer, teaches. You know, they just really don't know dogs. They they control them, but they don't teach them. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in here so you can see what's going on here with this dog. Oh, no, I can't, I can't really zoom in like that. But, uh, oh, he left. Let's see if he can come out here a little bit. See, can you see him back here? Can you see him? See, he's just, he's chained up and he's not just, there's actually two of them back there. And um, the thing is, I, I mean, you got to be careful of dogs like this when you're driving around. For the most part, it's not a problem. There aren't many. There really aren't many. A lot of dogs are just friendly. But every once in a while, you get a dog. It's not a homeless dog. Homeless dogs mind their own business and let you come and go. But domesticated dogs who live in the house, they live with the owner and the owner talks to them. They're fine and safe also. But then you get dogs like this that have an owner, but they're controlled, but they're not taught. And this is this is how it ends up. And they're really the dogs that bite people. And and I've seen it happen. Um, it it just I can't help but think as I'm you know watching this dog here bark at me, wanting to bite me. There's a lot of people that just act like this. And as a Christian, it makes me sad that there's a lot of people in Sunday morning that do that. But it's not just there. It's just, it's everywhere. And I just really don't want to be a person that's so unruly that this is how other people think that I act. And I really don't like being around people that do act this way.